excited. That much butter? It's a lot simpler to just eat it. You're a liar. Best sound in the world. It's not easy. It's actually a workout. It smells like Italy in a pan. All it means is that next season you don't need a Ranveer. What? Welcome to You Got Chef special episode with me Ranveer Brar and today in my kitchen because double is better I have invited my partner in crime Craig Benson brand ambassador doers good to see you hello Ranveer how are you doing very good and I like the haircut you're a gentleman Ranveer thank you thank you so today we are going to be making some really simple but delicious highball cocktails I missed this. I'm glad we're doing a special episode. This is an on-demand episode. After the successful season three, uh, this special guest saw the episode and she said, I want to cook with the, both these guys. So ladies and gentlemen, let us virtually take you to Italy with the ever so charming, path-breaking actress, Bhumi Pednegar. Thank you so much for that introduction, Chef. I'm so excited to be here. You know, let me tell you, I'm a very big foodie and I've seen your uh, season and I am so excited for all the fun, for all the food that we are going to eat. And I think that's been the beauty of it and that's what connected us virtually today as well. Exciting. Yeah, I'm ready to be chef. I'm ready for all those points. And Greg, I know that uh, you're going to give me double points because I'm going to really ace the bar trick. Huh. So I see you've been doing your research then. Because this is a special episode, I have a surprise in store for you with Dewar's Double Aged Scotch Whiskey. So, you know, I also have to kind of tell you this, that um, a lot of my friends, and I included, we could just not crack the pronunciation. So it's Dewar's. The easiest way to remember it is just Dew, like a Dew droplet of rain. Dewar's. Dewar's. Very easy. Cool, so uh, let's get to cooking. Okay. okay. Let me give you one clear clue. We're going to be cooking Italian food today. One of the few dishes that I learned first when I started learning Italian. And if you're making Italian food, then I'll go away, think of some highballs that will be easy to make, but match the food perfectly. Awesome. See you, Andrea. All right, Bumi, let's get started. Uh I'm so excited. First, let's open box number one for you. So we have some asparagus, basil. Are we making some pasta? I really hope we are. You guessed it right. But there are no points for guessing. Oh no. Okay, so we're going to be doing a stuffed pasta. I'll explain the point system to you. This time, because it's a special episode, it's double the challenge. Which means you will have to replicate the dish and the okay. drink that we make here to get 8 out of 10 points to get okay. chef. Got it? Okay. I think I'm going to kill it. I am sure you're going to totally kill it. Let's do this, Boomi. Let's get started with maida. Here goes the flour, salt, little bit of turmeric, add a little bit of water. Actually, atta gunde mein na, this is the trickiest part. I've seen my mom do this very often at home, so I'm going to try and imitate what she does. Okay, so for this, you'll need to make space on the table, right? We have to build gluten in the dough. Stretch it and build that gluten. I don't know, is it done? Nice. It needs a little more kneading. Okay, it's not easy. It looks a lot easier when you see others do it, but it's actually a workout. So ideally, you should allow the dough to rest for at least 10 minutes. Pasta is done. So while the dough is resting, let's get to the cutting bit for the stuffing and the sauce. That's it. It's actually that simple. It's a lot simpler to just eat it, but I'm really enjoying this. Okay, so you'll have some soaked oyster mushroom. So you got to leave so much of the stem on because it gets its uh, shape and structure. So just like a little of the end. There you go. So in Italy, I stayed in Tuscany, in a very small Tuscan village with a population of like 70 people. Tuscany for sure is that you have these really small mom and pop sort of places, you know, four seats and you see an old ala mama style of cooking happening there. 
and she's happily feeding you like you're uh, you know eating it at home i never really? felt out of place when it came to the sentiment of feeding in italy it sounds a lot like india you know how at home everybody just wants to feed you right do you have any tips to give me when i travel to italy travel light do not um, stay in expensive hotels the best places to stay are these very small villages and olive plantation yaar matlab har cheez avocados and all are just so openly and easily available now i want to go back and these are some dried cranberries how are you like chopping without seeing like look at me i'm like so that's why you need to come to the kitchen and cook with me i will try but i think I'm clearly way slower than you. And we've made life easy for you. We've sent you some chopped walnuts. How has your journey been? I mean, from being a casting director to to being in front of the camera. I mean, this is what I always wanted to do. I was an assistant casting director in Yashraj Films because I didn't want to go study. My parents were appalled. I was like the black sheep, but uh, I feel that step that I took. it happened because of a very immature reason but i kind of started my journey of doing what i love and one thing led to the other and then eventually a script like dam laga ke haisha came around and it is the best thing that could have ever happened that's how i also lived my life matlab zyada plan plan karne ka ye karenge wo karenge koi fayda nahi hai all right and your filling is ready at least for the prep you get two points Thank you so much. So now we need to roll the pasta. This is my dough. You got to roll it out to as thin as possible. How much do I? So ideally you should be able to see your fingers through the pasta at least. Abhi fingers dikhao aur ek point le jao. Is it? Is it done? You are now on 3. Yay! Okay, abhi we have to move really fast, okay? You take really small cutters like this. and you would put the filling in the center and then make really fancy shapes so ideally you would want to make like 50 of these cute little tortellini for a portion what lekin maine kaam bahut aasan kar diya we'll make a big tortellini and just serve one to a portion oh wow this will be great okay actually let's put two tortellini okay and now like a karai okay ah karanji right and you fold it around this is art okay so you maine panch banayi hai but you don't have to make five just show me the two that you've made and then let's decide if you get that extra point or not so you have to give me these points i mean look at them they are closer to what you've made you are a liar to tell me that you've never made pasta before i promise you it's my first time one more point to you yay a tad bit of olive oil oh. and while the water is boiling let me take this moment to appreciate you for the zeal to be different to break this stereotype of the typical hindi film ki heroine was it always the case or did that mindset evolve as you started um, acting but most of the parts that i've played have been from heartland india you know the kind of world that they live in has been such an eye opener for me people gave dam laga ke haisha so much love i had so many women and men actually that wrote back to me after the film so i was honestly very clear in my head that i want to do meaningful cinema i feel it just not like in films i feel like generally the narratives changing you know generally there is a certain amount of power that women are kind of demanding rightfully yeah, i totally hear you i wish there was one mark for being progressive in the field you would have gotten 10 out of those one but let's come back to the good one Thank you so much chef that's really sweet Acha interview nahi hai lekin what's your favorite dish My favorite is anything that my mom cooks chole puri rajma chawal I usually like pairing things together because double is better You know you spoke like a true Punjabi hai eh? all the chole puri rajma chawal Wow my first set of pasta ever made And in a hot pan Carefully leave them to color. Relax, relax. Smells like Italy in a pan. There goes the asparagus, and now we add the butter. That much butter? 
If there are two things I have learned not to be stingy with, it's compliments and butter. So you see this broth? Now that's your sauce. That's it? That's it. Mmm. Okay. And now some Parmesan cheese. Cheese is one of my most favorite things ever. You have to go to Emilia Romagna and you have to go to a Parmesan cheese factory when you go to uh, Italy. It's like the true mecca of cheese. Wow. Now let's plate. Woo! I've done it like you. Now let's see your plate. Aram se, huh? camera ko dikhaiye. What do you think? Not bad. Two points given. I think after Arjun, if you keep going like this, you'd be the second guest. Who gets to... a 10 on 10? But I have to say, Ranveer, your dish looks absolutely amazing. So, Bumi, show me your dish there. Oh, that, that looks, looks really good. It does, right? Fantastic. So, I came up with a great drink that I think would pair really nicely with this dish. And that drink is the Mediterranean Highball. Woohoo! You had some fun cooking in box number one, but now it's my turn for you to open box number two. Okay, then. I like to make things a wee bit more difficult for my guests. So what you need to do in this challenge with the Dewar's Double Aged Scotch Whiskey is remember this cocktail exactly and recreate it for me. Do you think you can do that? Oh, so I'm not going to make it with you. So you're watching, not making the drink, and then you have to make it, and then we'll watch you. And obviously, double is better. If you can remember and make this drink exactly right, you will get double points. How does that sound? I've scored so well with my cooking, I'm going to ace this too. All right, let's go. So the drink starts off really easy with a tall glass full of ice. And then to that, we're going to add a large peg of Dewar's double-aged blended Scotch whiskey. Why is it double-aged? Like what makes it double-aged? So what we do is we age our whiskies, we blend it, and then we age it again, which makes the whiskey very, very smooth and lets all the flavors come together. Very, very interesting kind of in the world of food. Say if you marinate a biryani overnight, it's exactly the same thing. I'm proud of you, Greg. All it means is that next season, you don't need a runway. Greg's gonna do the food, and he's gonna do the drinks, and we're sorted. <laughs> <laughs> and then for a bit of kind of Italian influence with the food and also the drink, we have Martini Firo. Okay. We have some freshly squeezed orange juice. As with all highballs, we need to lengthen that. So we're just going to add some soda water. Very gentle stir, some fresh basil leaf because we have that Italian connection in there. So there you have it, Ranveer. So Bumi, the, the point is before this ice melts, your drinks gotta be ready. Oh wow, okay, you, okay, okay, I'm ready. Top it up with ice. 60 ml of the Dewar Scotch Whiskey. 25 ml of this. I think I should put some more ice. And then some orange juice. Some soda. Okay, okay. I have to stir it. And at the end of it, please. I think I'm done. I have to say, I am very impressed by how well you've remembered and recreated that drink. I'm going to give you two points. And like I said earlier, I'll double that. So you get four points for this section. Yay! So I've got a 10 on 10. And that means, Bumi, you got chef. And you can open box number three. Whoa, that's big. Wow. That's your doer's highball making kit to make your super simple highballs at home. Thank you so much. Slange of Slange. Okay, so just let me taste my pasta. Really, I've been looking forward to this. Oh. Mm. If only you could taste what I've made. Because I've really done a good job. Cheers. 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 And congratulations on getting chef.